Yes, I do remember my first paycheck. Uh, it was probably close to 35 years ago. Um, I worked at a very uh, small local grocery store and I remember getting that paycheck and I think I had already figured out like how many hours I worked and I multiplied it by my, my wage. But I was a little surprised that that wasn't how much I received. So I had went to my parents and said, what is this tax, right? What are these deductions and these taxes? Uh, so that was my first exposure, right? To, 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 the, to the government and the IRS and paying taxes. Uh, Lori Tremper, uh, Global Director of Payroll Time and Absence. I started working in, in payroll about seven years ago. Um, started my career in the finance controller's function, uh, then transitioned over to HR, leading the payroll, and been with Dow for about 20 years now. So I grew up in this area. Uh, family and friends have all worked for Dow. So Dow has always been a very attractive company uh, for, for many of us who have grew up and lived in this area. But we've definitely moved from being recognized as a chemical company to a science company. Uh, we have really transformed through multiple merger and acquisition activities that have helped us to grow. We are very focused now on really the, the digital side of technology. We're focused on artificial intelligence, um, and I think that's really driving where we're going. So locally here in Midland, not only were we managing through a pandemic, we had a significant flood um, in our community due to a, a local dam breach. Um, we ended up with almost, I think it was about 15,000 uh, local residents evacuated and our company really stepped up. So we had employees, you know, volunteering their time, helping out in the local community, in addition to the commitments that Dow makes to our communities. So I think this year has just really been a huge challenge for us, but I'm proud to say that Dow is a company uh, really stood up. We, we've always helped our employees. And then we get the support from ADP to manage our payroll and ensure that employees, on top of maybe all these additional worries that they have, they're not worried about their payroll. They're not worried about getting their time in. Um, and for us, that is just such a huge, huge win. I think for employees, it's really more about the digital, uh, the ability to access their pay slips online, to be able to enter their time through mobile application, all your data, everywhere, anytime. Um, and so we're trying to shift to that to really be able to deliver those solutions to our employees. And I think being in North America this year, not only did we obviously manage through a pandemic, locally we managed through a very significant flood in our region. And then we also had a pretty substantial hurricane season this year. And moving to that digitalization and being able to deliver uh, those solutions through mobile app is really what's changing our relationship with our employees and how we interact. So Dow's been in a long-term strategic relationship with ADP for almost 30 years. We operate on many of their payroll platforms around the world. We are also operating on their e-time platform in eight countries with our recent implementation of North America uh, just this past year. We have a strategic roadmap to implement approximately 26 countries, our large countries, with ADP. And for us, that is just a real game changer to have all of our countries on the same time platform and to be able to utilize the data from that into the Global View Insights dashboard. So over the last couple of years, ADP has really helped us to streamline our payroll. We're able to get with the same vendor, we're able to have very similar, not just the implementation, but also the processing of our payroll be very consistent, whether we're on the Streamline platform or the Global View platform or utilizing the ADP Enterprise eTime. And that has really solved some challenges for us. We understood clearly from the beginning the, the importance 
and the, the capabilities we would get from being on ADP systems and platforms. So although we rely obviously heavily on ADP for compliance and the payroll processing, the ability to have access to big data, and not just our data, um, but because ADP is processing payroll for one in six employees uh, e within the US, we have access to the benchmark data that they're able to get out of that. The 2020 year, it was definitely a challenging year for all of us, and we know that it was, it was a challenging year for many companies where overnight we were all working from home. And I think that our partnership with ADP, the accessibility to the systems, their business continuity planning, and the overall support that they provided really allowed us to continue to deliver absolutely seamless uh, payroll. Uh, we, we, we did not miss any payrolls. We were completely accurate. We were on time. And I think that partnership that we have with them allowed us to have such a successful 2020, even through the pandemic. We really just finished up the rollout of utilizing that data. And some of the early benefits that we see is the ability to compare apples to apples across all of our countries that are implemented on these platforms. The analytics itself, uh, it brings ability to have analytics the dashboards, the reporting, um, and for it to be completely consistent country to country. The Global View Insights is already built and is fully integrated to bring that data in. And for us, it was not a lot of work to be able to implement the Global View Insights dashboard and immediately begin digging and looking into that data and be able to look at our workforce costs, look at our employer deductions. Um, it really gave us instant access to that information. What we've been working on very closely uh, with ADP um, through the platforms, through their consulting work that they do, is really moving us from more of an operational service delivery to a very strategic uh, discipline within our function. We are really about the analytics, um, and it, it's not just about compliance and, and producing payroll. ADP helps us with that. Uh, their managed service model is, is excellent, and it's really helped us to, to shift and, and make that move. Uh, we hire a completely different talent pool for payroll processing now than what we used to in the past. And I think making that shift is really going to help us to be able to do the analytics that we want to do and to be able to get that data out to the leadership within our company. 2021 is going to be an exciting year for us. Uh, we, we recently just implemented the, the Insights Dashboard at the end of 2020. So we're very excited about uh, looking into that data, creating the dashboards and doing the reporting out of that tool. Uh, we're very excited too that this year we're gonna be implementing two of our largest countries on Enterprise eTime. We don't know what we don't know. So being able to have that large data, the benchmark data is really going to be a game changer for us this year. Year, in addition to the implementations we have planned and some of the other work that, that we're strategically working on with ADP.